guys welcome back to my channel this is lindy and i'm back i know i've been gone for so long and i always say this but guys it's exam season over the past few months i've been preparing for exams i've been busy and honestly i just don't want to come here and just you know say whatever come here with like low energy and not feeling it so um, it happens sometimes, um, it's okay, but I'm gonna try and give you guys more videos. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, newbies, please subscribe to my channel and uh, don't forget to click the like button if you like this video. Today we're discussing damage, how to prevent it, tips, tricks, any kind of heat damage, any kind of damage, sorry, heat damage, color damage, girls. I got some tricks for you damage trick or tip number one I want to color my hair but I'm scared that it's gonna get damaged I want to get it blonde I want to get it whatever you know I want to have some color I for one have been on this tip you guys I have been so obsessed with getting my hair black like really black if you notice I have some gray in my hair I didn't mind it at first but I think now I'm ready to have black hair <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I've been battling with color damage and like literally driving myself crazy trying to like figure out how I'm gonna deal with the damage and I figured it out guys so there's this hair dye called henna henna dye I just got this box I have not used this um, it comes with three sachets inside. I'm gonna be doing a video when I dye my hair with the henna dye. So it's just henna dye. Henna dye is like a natural kind of dye. It's not natural, but it's less damaging to your hair, and um, it's just a better, I mean, alternative to regular dye as you know dye weakens your hair and breaks down your hair a little bit so when you normally dye your hair you have to take extra care but i've heard so many good reviews about henna dye and i'm going to be trying it and um if you guys want to be going changing color dyeing your hair i suggest you find henna dye this is um the henna dye by inecto i got this at Disco. so one of the tips and also you can just avoid damage by not dying your hair but where's the fun in that <laughs> another problem um, naturals face is how do I get the kinks and coils and tangles out of my hair without damaging it without comage without whatever the best advice and I've said this in my previous videos is thick tooth comb like this or something else and a good oil and moisturizer um i started using jojoba oil but you can start i was also using coconut oil you can have that as well um and a good leave-in conditioner if you want but just make sure your hair is moisturized make sure you don't deal with your hair when it's not wet i've said this before in tips and tricks about your hair i think um please go watch that video but it's one thing that can cause damage is excessive combing and just yeah i think to the comb. damage trick and tip tip and tr i have to choose one word guys damage tip number three <laughs> heat damage now a lot of heat damage can result from um excessive heat to your hair or heat to your hair without care or um, just basic continuous use of heat on your hair what heat does it, it breaks down the proteins and whatever in your hair so that it gets straight and if you don't protect your hair properly it can be permanent those breakdowns can be permanent and they will never go back so I've heard people who say, what if I want to straighten my hair? Or what if I want to stretch my hair a little bit? Can I just like blow dry it a little bit? I'm personally not a fan of blow drying your hair, especially like 
continuously doing it or often so tip and trick number three dun 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 threading this is called wool i call it wool guys i don't know <laughs> it's thread apparently this is called thread but i've been calling it wool of my life all my life um i love this i've been watching so many videos that have wool and threading african threading and yo yo interesting i'm also going to be recording a video about that so please stay tuned um that's a better alternative to straightening your hair and stretching it out um threading is also good for fourth tip the fourth tip is what if you already have damage lindy i hear your tips whatever but girl i already have my damage so tip four how to get rid of damaged hair there is no simple way to say this there is no good way to say this there is no other kind way to say this but if your hair is damaged or heat damaged the best solution i think would be to cut it off yeah now you're saying i'm not cutting off my hair what are you talking about i'm gonna have short hair but i feel that with all the tricks and things that I found on the internet and having had just a little bit of damage myself from you know heat or whatever or lack of knowledge when I first started I found that the long-term solution for bigger healthier hair is new hair like trimming your hair or whatever so instead of cutting it all off and just starting all over again because maybe you want to have some length retention or you just don't want to have short hair I suggest just trim your hair so what happens is you trim your hair more often than you would or you start to trim your hair what you would do is cut off maybe an inch of your hair every three months and by the time you get to maybe the fourth time you do it you will realize that new hair has grown in its place because our hair grows every single day sheds grows every single day you're just helping the process along you're just making it quicker and while you're doing that you are taking better steps to taking care of your hair you're moisturizing it better you're not putting any heat on it you are conditioning shampooing you are doing the things that are good for your hair you're oiling it you're moisturizing it during the time when you know your hair is starting to grow back so um i'm just gonna tell you what i did when i had like a little bit of damage when i started i didn't like the idea of cutting all my hair off because i had just done a big chop so now i'm going back now no i don't want to do that <laughs> so what i did was i started trimming my hair every four months what i'd do is i'd just twist my hair into like little twists and trim off just a little bit of it every time and i started to realize that oh every time i trim it's just a new beginning for that piece of hair that i just cut off a new hair can come in its place so it's daunting but i will be doing a video about that also um promising a couple of videos wow lindy <laughs> um but yeah i think it's very important and We've come to the end of the text tips and tips. We've come <laughs> to the end of the tips and tricks of damaged hair, how to prevent it, how to deal with it, and everything else. Um, I've been so fortunate to have you guys subscribed to my channel have you guys watched my channel sometimes i'm like why do people even watch my channel <laughs> but thank you guys for watching my channel if you really enjoyed this video if this video is helpful please give it a thumbs up i really really want to hear your comments at the bottom what do you have to say about um damage and hair do you have any other advice for naturals tell us what you are doing that's been working for you and until next time bye guys <laughs>